As rideshare drivers, we all know that mileage is the most important thing to track in order to maximize our tax deductions. But there are also a lot more additional things that we can claim, and we're going to discuss those today. And quickly, as far as the mileage deduction, which is your most important deduction, that is the cost of your vehicle. As we've discussed in the past on the blog, for the majority of drivers, it's going to make sense to use the standard mileage rate as provided by the IRS. It's just much easier to track and it's going to be the highest deduction possible. I personally have used the standard mileage deduction in each of my six years driving ride share. Um, it's always been higher than my actual expenses, typically double. I drive a hybrid vehicle. I have a good idea of what my actual expenses are for the year. And again, the standard mileage rate is typically double that amount for the year. All right, now on to the meat of this video. Um, there are a lot of other additional costs that occur outside of the vehicle, and you want to make sure to claim every single one of them. And the first and most important thing that you want to remember to claim on both the Uber and Lyft tax summaries that every driver is sent, there will be expenses that you want to claim. On the Uber summary, you're going to want to claim that number, that expenses, fees, and tax number. So this driver would claim $8,651.51 in expenses, fees, and tax. And with Lyft, there's an expenses area. So you're going to claim all of those expenses, the Lyft platform fees, the service fees, and the third party fees. So you'll report your gross earnings, but you also want to report these expenses and fees as well. All right, now on to the additional items, and a great reference to use is the Stride Mileage and Tax Tracker app. It is a free tool that will help you when it comes to tax time. We'll leave our affiliate link in the description if you'd like to download Stride. All right, and here's a look at the expenses area of the Stride app, and there are over 10 categories of things that you may want to claim. The first category is passenger goodies. If you offer any giveaways like water or snacks, you can claim the cost of those. The next category is phone and service. You can claim a percentage of the cost of your phone and service plan. For instance, if your phone and service cost $100 a month, and say you drive 10 hours a week, and say you use your phone for 10 hours a week on your own personal time, you would take 10 hours a week divided by 20 total hours, and you would get 50%, so you would be able to claim 50% of the annual cost of your phone and service. The next category is food and drink. Um, say for instance you want to get together with another rideshare driver that would like to consult with you on rideshare, you can claim that as a business meal. Tolls, if you ever pay a toll while driving rideshare, remember to claim it. Uber will provide tolls paid by the passenger on your 1099, but there may be other tolls that you want to track on your own. Also parking, if you ever have to pay to park your vehicle while driving rideshare, you can claim that. Phone accessories, if say you purchase a charging cable or a phone mount for rideshare, you can claim the cost of those. Music and paid apps, if you use Spotify or Apple Music, you can claim the percentage that you use it for rideshare. And if you use it only for rideshare, you would be able to claim 100%. Or if you use a paid mileage tracking app like MileIQ, you can claim the cost of that too. Also inspections, you can claim the cost of your annual vehicle inspection. In my opinion, they should have included permits here as well. Remember to claim the cost of any airport permits. Roadside assistance, if you have a AAA plan, you can claim the percentage you use it for rideshare. And dash cam, if you made a big purchase like a dash cam, don't forget to claim that. We actually recommend the Vanshu N2 Pro dash cam and we'll leave our affiliate link in the description. Health insurance, if you're driving full time and have a private health insurance plan, you can claim the cost of those premiums. And Stride Health also offers plans, and again, we'll leave our affiliate link in the description. All right, and there are a couple additional categories that Stride doesn't include. One is education. If you use training materials like Maximum Ridesharing Profits, our video course, or the Rideshare Guide, our book, those are actually both tax deductible. And we'll leave links to both the video course and our book in the description as well. If you purchase any advertising for your car, any business cards, say you have a monthly car wash plan that you purchased specifically for driving rideshare, or maybe you have a rideshare website, you can claim all of those things as well. All right, so as you can see, there are a lot more expenses that you incur driving rideshare in addition to the cost of operating your vehicle. And you wanna to remember to claim every single one of those. And let's take a look at that list one more time. Again, the Uber and Lyft taxes and fees, any passenger goodies, phone and cell service, food and drink, tolls, parking, phone accessories, music and paid apps, inspections and permits, roadside assistance, dash cam, health insurance, education, advertising, or a car wash plan. And lastly, we are not tax professionals. We're only providing our advice. If you do want professional advice, you should consult a tax professional. And we actually have a rideshare CPA who specializes in working with Uber and Lyft drivers, and we'll leave this link in the description as well. All right, so did you know all of these expenses and have you been claiming them? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.